Okay, in the first video, we started to uh, produce a simple animation. So we've produced a sprite, we've produced a background, and we've got a little bit of movement in here. Now my crocodile is drifting across from the right-hand side of the screen to the left-hand side of the screen using the glide option. When he gets here, I would like him to turn round. So we need to go into costumes now. So within sprite, if I go to costumes, I've got a costume one here. And what I can do here is I can duplicate this costume. So if I right click on this, we can go to duplicate. So I've got costume one and costume two. And on costume two, I can use the flip option to turn him around. Now within scripts, I can now add in, go to X, glide, he thinks, and then what he wants to do is he wants to turn around. So we use the look and we change to switch costume to costume two. If I'm going to do that, I probably also want to make sure that at the start, he starts with costume one. So right at the top here, I'm going to put a costume one, and then I'm going to press on the green flag, and we're going to watch what happens. He goes across, he thinks for a second or two, then he turns around. And again, we could have another glide action happen here, or we could have something else happen. What's happening at this point is we're starting to build a story sequence up, and we can start to add in some extra bits. So if we want something to happen more than once, we can use the control section. So we can put in delays and we put in repeat. One of the nice ones I've done recently with the year three is to start to put a second event in. So at the same time this is happening, we can go to controls, we can put a delay into the first part of the story happens normally, let's say delay that by five seconds or something. Then we can have a forever repeat happen. And if I go into the looks option here, I can say change the color effect. Because we're using the sprite, anything we do within the sprite script will affect the sprite. So if you watch this time, what should happen is he drags across, he thinks, he moves around, and around about this time he should start to flash because we've now set the color effect to change. If we then change that to a smaller number, like a five, if we bring that time down as well, so it starts a little bit earlier, so a little bit less waiting around. And press stop. So he goes across. Just about as he turns around, he should start to flash. But because I put it on five instead of 25, it's a much more gradual fade. If I put it to a larger number, it would be a much, much, greater, um, a much greater change. I can also start to get to put some show, some hide, and we can put um, some different effects in, including the sound effects here, so that you could have a drum beat coming in or a noise coming in. At this point, we should definitely be thinking about saving, so we need to make sure we're going into file. We're going to go to save, or save as, and we're going to give it a sensible name, so this one I'm going to call Crocodile Story. Save it. There's also the option here to record the project video. So I click on record project video and press start. What I should now be able to see is it should allow us to make a recording of the sequence that's happened so far. It'd be helpful if I actually press the start at the beginning. So he starts to go across, he completes his sequence, he starts to flash, and then whenever I'm finished, I can press stop and save that as a video. This is quite nice because it means we don't now necessarily need to uh, open it in Scratch in order to see it. I'm going to save and download that. It's coming up as movie, so we're going to call it Crocodile Movie. And if I just close this down for a second, we should see the Crocodile Movie is here now. And if I want to open this, it should now open fine within VLC. You'll see, because I didn't press start at the beginning, it's got the end of the previous sequence showing. But as soon as I start to press the play, he walks across, he does his thinking, and then he starts his color flashing. And there we produce a very simple first part of our animation. 